On the road to your purpose, sometimes you may mess around and crash. But if you get another chance, you dust yourself off and come back in a new form. Scarface stays in the building, baby, man. Fresh off the accident, still got a little blood in my eye, a little scratches on my face. Looking like my foster big brother and shit, you feel me? But, um, hey, man, appreciate you guys for all the love that you guys showed me. The crazy love, man. It's just overwhelming for real, for real. And I can't state how much that meant to me to let me know I could take a couple more days to make sure I'm back feeling like myself so I can give y'all this great content. But this person right here wanted to be different and they said this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it for them. They say, I see all the positive comments and I feel the same, but I want to be a little different. Get your lazy car crashed ass up and make me some entertainment, slacker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got ya, I got ya. Once again, to show you guys so much appreciation. Y'all know we got Stay Stop Shop rocking. the hats just came in, hold up. These boys so foy, I don't even know which one to rock, I'm trying to tell you. The hats are selling out fast. If you already purchased yours, they are on the way. But everything else on the website, you get 20% off. Just use the discount code Scarface Stace. Scarface Stace. I'ma run that special for like a week or some shit, you feel me? The hoodies and the tees, 20% off. Grab your hat too. And one more thing, one more thing. If you guys get this video to 500 likes, 500 likes, I'm giving away one free conditional love hoodie. Get this video to 500 likes and we can do that right there, just like that. But let's get to the reason why you here. Welcome to Black Twitter, the best series on the internet, where I gave you the most craziest, the most entertaining posts. So make sure you smash that like button, tell a friend to tell a friend. Now let's go ahead and let the fun begin. First thing first. <laughs> Appreciate the subscription, Dante Thompson. That boy Rose say he don't appreciate how y'all been clowning him on the past Black Twitter episodes for crushing the camel, not knowing how to chop down a tree, rubbing his sweat on a groupie. He like he say he don't appreciate how y'all been doing him, talking about him and shit like that in the comment section. So he say he getting ready for y'all boys. Check him out. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. One two. Mm. Okay. One two. Okay. One two three. Oh, you see that hook? One, two, three, two. <laughs> oh, over here. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, man, fat boy with the move, fat boy with the hands, hey. They make them noises just to put fear in the opponent heart. <laughs> All that breathing shit. They want you to think they punching so fast, like Bruce Lee. <laughs> that ain't nothing. That's a nigga making that noise with his mouth. And if you fall for it, that's you. I'm going to eat it. Hey, <laughs> part of the reason why I couldn't record past couple days is that anytime I laugh, it will hurt my chest, my sternum, man. <laughs> It still hurt a little bit, but hey, man, we gonna rock. We gonna rock out. Next story, though. All right, so the dustiness of these ladies, man. It's so disgusting. Check out these ladies right here, bro. Look at her. Look at her. Empty cup. She be holding that cup all night. They just staring this man food down. Like, what did you, you expect? What did you expect? <laughs> Caption say, ladies, just stay home if you ain't got the bread, if you ain't got no money, stay ass home. I think that's overseas for sure in, a, in the motherland. Look at her, look at her. You like, no, look what that out. Hey, we start, we start the music for the copyright my shit, dog. She had to make sure she got it. Let me go ahead and scoop that bitch up. Let me scoop it up like a ground ball real quick. Scoop it up like a ground ball. She got a, hey, she resourceful though. <laughs> I can't waste nothing, y'all. It's physically impossible for me to waste this. I can't do it. Jamal, can you pour it out for me? Oh, thank Come on, <laughs> man. Dude. I mean, it's not gonna bring it back. <laughs> All right, next story though. Oh, oh God, what is this? Okay, so um, I'll never forgive my mother for sending us to school with her wigs on her, our head. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa! They said, "Baby, not to render the finder." <laughs> oh 
Oh, oh, my sternum. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Hey, next story, though. <laughs> Wigs have come a long way. This shit right here make you appreciate lace fronts. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Juicy Smoothie. Hey. So Juicy at the crying and crying. They done let Juicy out of prison. Juicy is a free man for now, and he's doing an appeal and everything. And they brought the whole, they brought every single stop out possible to make sure to get Juicy out of jail. Um, Flame and Rota said they um got Juicy out before he became Lucy. <laughs> hey, hey, but um, even Beyonce mom was speaking and vouching for this boy. His brother said some weird shit, saying that this if this was a straight male. None of this would have ever happened. You thought, huh? You thought. Like, we have some straight male privilege nowadays. Um, straight black men having privilege. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting take right there. It's wrong. It's a wrong take, but it's very interesting to say the least. Next story, though. All right, so Netflix is testing ways to end password sharing and push viewers to pay extra. So, um, I ain't finna read all the little article right here, but basically what they trying to do is, um, those folks that never pay for, pay for Netflix, but be on your accounts, you be sharing your password and shit. They be all watching your shit and stuff like that. They're trying to invent. And, hey man, hey, it is what it is. It's been fun while it lasted. So, Kanye West has been snapping. Oh man, the whole time my recovery bed, I'm just watching Kanye go the fuck off and the other Hoogly horrible ass jokes and um everybody else just chime in and shit like that. This shit was so crazy. And then Kanye went and called Trevor Noah a coon and they went and took the man IG away. I don't know if they gave him a shit back yet. Let me go ahead and look. Let's put Kanye West in this shit. Let's see if they gave Kanye the IGs back. Um because they said it was a 24 hour suspension. I don't know if they actually finally gave it back. Okay, all right. So Kanye's back on IG. He he ain't saying nothing though, he just chilling. He just cool and he ain't saying nothing though. But um, yeah though. But you know, the most funniest thing that came from this whole situation definitely wasn't DL Hughley. It was not DL Hughley. I can tell you that for sure. But I'm pretty sure we all know that. But the funniest thing that actually came from the situation was Pete Davidson saying that he was in bed with Kim. And it wasn't Pete Davidson saying that he was in bed with Kim. It was Soldier Boy of all people stepping up for Yay. Check my boy Soldier out right here. Pete Davidson, PSA, watch your fucking mouth when you talking to Kanye like that, nigga. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you think you is, but you're not Big Draco. Do not talk to Kanye like that no more. Or you're going to have me on your ass, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? I'm in the bed with your wife. Boy, do not talk to Ye like that. Can't nobody talk to Yay like that but me, nigga. <laughs> Watch your mouth, ski. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I hate that it hurts to laugh. <laughs> nigga, talk about I'm in the bed with your wife. But we will come over there and mush your little ass. <laughs> Pete Davidson, PSA, watch your. Oh, we say you come over there, and mush your little. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm getting my ass back in bed after this shit. <laughs> oh man, dog. No. Hey, Soldier Boy is funny as hell. Next story, though. Speaking of Kanye's wife, um, homie says some shit that I think we all been thinking for a long time, man. Kim K's sex tape mid as hell. That shit. Was me. Um, I don't know how she got famous off that shit, bro. I think she got all got famous because her mom is a master planner, and um, Ray J was Brandy's little brother. So I think that is how she got famous. And from that point, since she was a Kardashian, put a Kardashian. Oh, that was the lawyer for OJ. That's his daughter and everything. But but the, the sex game, it was it was rough. Many of times I've tried to bust me a nut to that sex tape, but I've never was successful. I've always had to go ahead and move on to something more um darker skin tone with real cheeks moving and jiggling so um yep that um never did it for me never did it for me how about you did that sex tape ever get your rock star but um next story though next story 
So this anonymous person messaged six brown chicks Twitter account and saying, um, my friend and I gave my boyfriend a threesome for his B-Day. He climaxed with her and she's pregnant. I paid for abortions two times, but she keeps skipping the appointments. He says he doesn't believe in abortions. The fuck, buddy? He was supposed to wear a condom with her. I'm devastated. Help. Help. What do you guys think she should do? Um, I don't know what to tell her. Oh, I think they're going to have that baby. <laughs> I think they're going to have that baby, man. I don't know. Y'all might be in a polygamous relationship. You feel me? Play stupid games. What, what you win? There it is. Play stupid games. What you win? There it is. Like the video because you smart. Remember, 500 likes, free merch for somebody, man. Next story, though. Missionary is just an excuse for you niggas to twerk. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo <laughs> what the hell was on your mind this morning lady <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> my sternum man my sternum bro <laughs> i ain't laughed this hard in a week bro <laughs> next story Man, everybody yeah, on FaceTime man. talking about you like Steve Harvey. Hey. Look, y'all really think he look like Steve Harvey? Huh? <laughs> what, hey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> man, er Did you just spray that on me? Yeah. Why? Because it says spray on flat surfaces. <gasps> Emotional damage! <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> I seen y'all saying that shit in one of my comments. I did not know what y'all was talking about, but um, I guess now I'm up on game. I'm, I'm one of the cool guys again. <laughs> Next story it out. All right, so Chick says, um, my sugar daddy of three months just surprised me with a house all paid for in my name. As if he didn't already take me to his lawyer and add me as the main beneficiary in his will. We then flew out to Zanzibar where he booked me and my fiance a romantic getaway. What? He's cool like that. Just cares about my happiness. He's always saying he wants me and my man to be happy. And I love that for me. No, I am. I wouldn't do this, but fellas, would you participate in this if you're the fiance? Let me know in the comment section below. Just time stamp this shit and let me know in the comment section below. Would y'all participate in that if you're the fiance? I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I just want to know what y'all be thinking about in y'all and y'all minds and stuff like that. You know. Next story though. So Jada Wade is posted this. Um, she says I'm finally standing up. Everything comes to an end. Never force it to be happy. I'm willing to x anybody out for my happiness and peace. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucy. Okay, if you guys didn't know, Jada Chaves is um the baby mother of rapper Lil Baby, and they look like they was back together recently, but it looks like she's standing up for herself once again. And um she's moving on. So we're gonna see what happens from this point. We never know. Next story though. So while I was editing, a very interesting development came across my desk. Little baby posted this right here. When the motherfucker think they could play with me. Is it safe to say that Jada is cheating back? And she's the actual culprit in the situation right here. So Jada says they think they could play with you. Laugh motherfucking ass off. You played with me for six years straight. I text a nigga back now. Your chest hurt? Oh, bye. Oh, shit. I felt that one in my sternum, homie. I felt that one in my sternum for you, my boy. Watch. Don't. You ain't got to cheat back, Jada. You better than this. So she says I post my own tea so I can clown myself before I get clowned. Because shit, it's cold out here. I don't know how this shit going to go. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, everyone. Wow. <laughs> what y'all think? Y'all think she really is taking somebody serious or she purposely... Let herself get caught texting another nigga so little baby finally could feel how that shit feel. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. But listen, social media has gotten a hold of this shit. This is all still developing as a nigga editing. Man. So they say y'all too fast, man. Jada, look what, the, look what you did. 
my turn. Whoa, they posted Jada up on Lil Baby's album cover. The my turn shit, cause it's her turn to cheat. <laughs> oh burn, man. Oh man. <laughs> God damn. Jada responded to the Shade Room saying, because everybody's saying, man, y'all just going to get bad right together. She said, I'm for real, y'all. Laugh my fucking ass off. We ain't going to talk about it. Y'all will see. Listen, man. I don't know, man. Whatever's going on in their life, that's their life. We just sitting here watching this shit. It's just interesting to see, you know, how much a woman could take, you feel me? How much a person could take when they keep getting done in a way that they don't prefer to be done, you feel me, man? Whatever they got arranged is what they arranged, but hey, man. Hope the family stay together. So this is how social media responding. They saying it's gonna be hot ass summer. You niggas gonna pay for what little baby did to Jada. What, what, what the fuck? No, this is what, what, what Jada did to little baby. You feel me? We the hurt ones. We the we the ones in pain right now. We hurting. Jada counting the amount of time little baby cheated on her. Another one. Thank you. Another one. Thank you. Exactly, y'all women gonna pay for what Jada did to little baby. Exactly, that's how it's going right now. This little baby and Jada drama is just a reminder that when a girl does one small thing to a guy, he'll be crying, throwing up, and fainting. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's been he's been causing chaos in a girl's life for years with no issue. Boy, please. <laughs> little baby watching Jada attempt to leave him for the once fifty eighth time. <laughs> Oh man, Lil Baby must got a baby on the way because Jada going crazy. Damn. Lil Baby and Jada in bed laughing at us falling for them being dumb for the hundredth time. Probably so. Um, I'll tell my lady, I feel like they right now they in the house together at this very time right now. They chilling in the house together. Jada and Lil Baby go be back together by next week, so I'm not even going to give them my energy. Like, yes, I feel, man. This shit all in the same. This shit like a damn TV show or some shit like that. Lil Baby ain't going to stop till Jada get a new man on his ass. <sighs> Hey man, that, what what man will go and approach that situation? You got to have a lot of self confidence to approach that situation because the way that um he has an imprint on her, you don't even want to get yourself in that situation. You want to make sure they done done. Like she got to, she has to be done. You can't pull away from that. She has to be done with a situation like that. So niggas already out here shooting they shots in the DM. Shut this nigga out leaving a voice note in Jada's DMs right here. Oh Jada, oh Ja, why duh? However you say, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I heard the news about you and little baby or whatnot, and um, I know you see, I was just calling to check on you first of all. You know, I know you say dude be tripping, and I don't know if you can hear, but I'm from New Orleans, and you know, dude was just down here. You know hear I me mean? cutting up, man. Oh. I seen dude cutting up, be all in some little chick face, you know. But look, I ain't the type to throw no salt. Snitch you know, ass nigga. At the same time, check it out, man. He hugged up with her too. I'm like, no. oh, huh? No, huh, dude, wildin'. He got a whole queen at home. You hear me? Because that what you is. But nah. like I said, I ain't trying to throw no salt. I'm just keeping it real because that's just who I am. I'm real like that. You hear me? Anyway, I, I see you responding. So I was just saying, you know, if you, you know, hit me with a reply. If you want a guy that's not going to lie and take the true route. Y'all shot at you, hoping you shoot back. Let's have a shootout. What love. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> oh, something like <light>. Something like <laughs> You hear me? But yeah, look, hit me back, though, love. That was off what? the top. That was off the top. Oh, that's some smooth up. shit. Like, oh. You still a snitch ass nigga, though. Uh, <laughs> it's also rapping ain't no cap ain't wasting no time trying to be on Jada neck uh, y'all know Jada's a very attractive lady so um what y'all expect you feel me but once again any man with a sensible mind understands to let her leave that situation on her own you can't pull out of that she gotta be mentally out of that shit right there and then she'll be ready to move on you feel me next story though very unfortunate news is baby mother of young thug to two of his sons, Lakevia Jackson, was fatally shot at Metro Fun Center following a dispute over a bowling ball. She had an argument with the dude. Um, after the argument, dude went outside, waited for her for about 20 minutes. When she came outside, he shot her dead. I'm not um, under. I'm not sure if he has been apprehended, but that's some stupid ass shit. We got to learn how to deal with conflicts way better than that. That's some stupid ass shit, my boy. You're going to get whatever is owed to you, my boy. You dudes need to be able to handle your situation, handle your mental, understand how to deal with anybody in an argument. Don't let anybody trick you out of no situation. You should always be man enough to not do no stupid shit like that. Uh, rest in peace to this young lady. Prayers out to the family. Prayers out to the young thug and all that good shit. Next story.
So chick say my husband is throwing a temper tantrum because I had dinner with my ex who was leaving for prison for the remainder of his life and just wanted to apologize for any hurt he caused me and said and say goodbye. Kiki, key, key. boy, boy, boo. I needed that closure. Cry about it then. So Kendra G said, is this real tweet because your husband is already mad and you decide to share all of your business on social media? Really? So dumb. You need a divorce. Oh, she got a dump. Delete it. Get out of here. Next story down. Uh, what brings you in? I heard you had some problems down here. Yeah. Um, Let's scoot up for me. It's been a little stinky. Yeah. Stinky. Ooh, look thick there. Hey, it's about to cheat. All right, all right. So you mind if I take a look at everything to see if everything is good? Sure. All right. Let's go in. It may be a little cold, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, a little wider than usual. A little wider than usual. Yeah. Okay. Right there. I'm gonna stick my fingers, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's warm though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's your pH balance is unusual right now. Um, how often do you have sex? Every day. Every day? Yes. Um yeah, I, I might need you to slow down and um, get you some water and <laughs> juices and, you know, I'm going again. Hold on. I, I you holding knees and shit. It's deep, shit. too. Oh, what it's deep, in? too. <laughs> hey, that man, Desi Banks, funny as shit, <laughs> And not to the freaky portion of Black Twitter. Let's get to it. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where's the clitoris? I don't know. Where's the clitoris? Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, it's at the top. It's like right, right under the hood. So FTN Bay, you guys remember FTN Bay? We covered her a couple weeks ago. Um, she went to jail. Now she's out of jail after she was harassing the, the guy Duty Low uh, for saying that he did something to her child but today she's saying she does she, she's saying this she's saying this oh my price is 50k so 50k 50k i got the plus <laughs> 50k so you're gonna have to move in though <laughs> nah 50k fuck. what you mean yeah oh, <laughs> this ain't no contract oh, shit nigga 50k, no. 50K. 50K. Fuck 50. i need to move 50. everybody in i need 50k that's my know. price Oh hell! And ain't never nobody gonna pay that shit. So there go I How ain't fucking for money. How you know? What well, shit? Okay. Somebody wanna pay me for fifty k? Shit, let's let's hit my line. Take me out to dinner. Okay, well I guess that's her reasoning. Nobody never gonna pay that amount. So she understands it's an outrageous amount. So you know that's her way of never doing it. Okay, all right, it is what it is. But Sturge the dude still are in the DMs basically. You know what's crazy is I got I got a lot of you motherfucking niggas in my DMs talking about some. Oh, I got 50k for you. I got 50k for you. First of all, my nigga. First of all, shut your ass up. You know motherfucker well. You ain't got no motherfucking 50k. And second of all, you be a dumbass motherfucking nigga if you gonna pay 50 motherfucking k for some motherfucking pussy. Okay, you be a dumb motherfucking nigga. I don't give a fuck who pussy it is. I don't give a fuck 50k for some pussy. You a dumbass motherfucking nigga. Even if you got the shit, you dumbass motherfucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even want to be associated with no dumb motherfucking niggas. So why is y'all dealing with yourselves like I got 50k? You a dumb ass motherfucking nigga. And you a broke ass nigga. Cause you know damn well he ain't even motherfucking got the money. <laughs> well, she's crazy, but she ain't stupid. <sighs> Next story down. Oh shit, here come this crazy mother. Open up this motherfucking door, Miss Jackson. Stop playing with me, bitch. For real. Stop playing with me. Don't nobody, don't nobody give a fuck about no police, Miss Jackson. You don't want to file the taxes. You did that. You know I was supposed to claim one of them fucking kids, man. Now this bitch out in Tulum spending my half of the money eating coochie. What <laughs> the fuck, man? That's the type of bitch you you the type of bitch you raised a coochie eater. Open up this motherfucking door. Okay, you know what? That's too aggressive because I'm not even mad. It's just the fact that that bitch has really got my money in Tulum eating coochie. How she eating coochie and her coochie stink? Huh? That shit must run to y'all family, huh? Huh? You must have had BV, your mama had BV, grandmama had BV, auntie had BV, all y'all, y'all, you know what, y'all are BV bitches. Open up this mother. What is wrong with oh. you, nigga? Bitch, open up this door, Miss Jackson. You know what? I'm gonna be right here when she come back. Don't even worry. <laughs> now, where the fuck did he go? Let him, 
It's me. Oh shit. That nigga went to go blend in with the tree. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, this shit hurt. <laughs> Oh shit! Ah right, man, Oh, man. He said she in Tulum. Hit <laughs> Koji. Uh, next thirty out. Hey man, who pops is this? Okay, all right. Check this out. If I could just sniff the towel, just breathe in the nipple fluid, the gas between them two voluptuous booty cheeks. Ooh, girl, you making me hot. Maybe want to grrr, 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 roof, 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 roof. <laughs> Nigga said, nigga named it Dr. Down Bad. <laughs> the Curtis Hornsky. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this video about to put me back in my recovery bed, bro. <laughs> me trying to act innocent and knowing I'm eating ass after the first day. <laughs> No, no, the good thing is I never had a chance to wear the elephant mask. It's brand new. Oh, God, look at this. Okay. Look what the sun got on his face. Oh. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Hey man, speaking of another father and son duo, Boosie out here with his son living life, man. Um, check this out. Come on, look at the pussy, get cold. Look at the pussy, son. Look at that, look at that pearl tone. They got magnifying glasses. Examining the pussy. Let me see your pussy. Let me see your pussy. Let me see this motherfucker. Look at that pussy. Look at that pussy. Let me see this motherfucker. Son just got a magnifying glass. I just don't fucking know. Ooh, this girl here is bruh. Bruh. Alright, I'ma stop it right there. I'll put the full thing probably in the description if I remember some shit right there. But um Boosie always wonder why his damn page always getting deleted, dog. Just woke up to the shenanigans. Talking about me and my son. See what they do is y'all flip the narrative and always try to make it fucked up. But if an 18-year-old man looking at some pussy is wrong, what is right for him to look at? An 18-year-old man looking at, if this is so wrong, him looking at some cat, what is it right for him to look at? That's a good question. <laughs> good question. Boosie's son, 18 years old now, so hey, they can't say too much shit now. They can't say too much shit now, but hey, man, that's going to wrap up this Black Twitter episode, man. Um, First episode back after being gone for a week. I haven't, it's been definitely over a year since I haven't posted that long on YouTube. If I can remember, like, doing this grind, I haven't gone that long in a long time without posting consistently. But um, thank you guys for, once again for giving me the chance to recover and bring you guys some dope content. I hope you guys like this video and then we're going to get right back on track and produce some great things for you guys, man. Um, once again, get this video to 500 likes so you guys go ahead and get someone. We're going to do a little giveaway. Somebody's going to be able to get a free um, conditional love hoodie. But everybody else, go ahead and go over to stage.shop and go ahead and put the checkout code, a discount code, Scarface Stace. You feel me? Scarface Stace. Get 20% off off all clothing over there the hats will remain at regular price please make sure you guys hurry up and grab you a hat before they're all sold out the light denim is already going black denim damn they're out of there these ones you got a couple more left of these my favorite is the khaki one these shit's hard as fuck though but um make sure you go handle up at stage.shop if any lesson you should learn from me in the situation things may derail you but you make sure you stay focused and stay on your purpose all right stay on your purpose you may fall off for a little bit Minor setback for a major comeback. Get back on the road to your purpose, all right? That's a message from your boy Stacy, your favorite conditional lover, because I fuck with you and the reason why, because you, you fucks with me. Yay, I'm out.